welcome to Ferndale Street, Kensington, Maryland. As you can see, quite a large project going on here. We have a piece of red oak. This thing originally stood about seven and a half feet tall and weighed about three and a half thousand pounds. And I've whittled it down now to it being about, I'm guessing about six, seven hundred pounds. Uh, tools of the trade, uh, initially a chainsaw, chainsaw, a small steel chainsaw to carve off all the bigger chunks, sort of more just squared everything up. Then I went into uh, using a five pound ball pin uh, hammer, a uh, this miniature sledgehammer and an axe, sort of making slices with the chainsaw and coming in and carving them pieces off with the axe. And then going down to a very sharp Swiss made um, a chisel, very sharp, but makes very good taking off small chips like that. Uh, so, what I've been trying to do is as I get down to the as I get down to the uh, smaller areas sort of doing away with the chainsaw so you don't have to cut too much off so anyway I'll give you some more shots in a minute I'm going to zoom in a little bit there we are in a little bit close you'll sort of see a side profile of his head I've kept things a little bit rougher I don't want to get into too much detail you can sort of see the effect of what's there um, had to size his head down a little bit looked a bit like a loaf of bread before um, Sort of panning down, you see his chest, and you can see a little bit of detail there on his stomach. Okay, back again. As you can see, I've progressed quite a bit on the statue. I've sort of sized him down, made him a little bit more slender. Um, and I'm probably about, maybe about a week away from finishing this off. As before, he had a, his legs are a little bit too fat and stocky. I've actually given him a pair of, give him a six pack abs. Uh, look a bit like me in my old days and sort of sized this whole thing in his chest, his arms and went into more detail with the hands and actually sized his head down a bit and also gave him some more facial details and uh, later on when I've finished off I'm going to come in here put some gesso on the, on the pants area and paint a nice sort of a Hawaiian floral print on the pants and I'm um, actually going to give him some hair too, we actually got a wig from a friend yesterday, I'm going to try and uh, tease up and make it a little bit messy like a surfer just got out of the water. Well good day, here we are, um, as you can see you'll see a sort of a floral uh, design there, this is actually a close up of uh, Woody's pants, I'll sort of pan there, you see his hand there, uh, Woody has already been mounted on his stand, um, he weighs about 600 pounds, he's about 6 foot 5, and uh, couldn't film that portion of it as it was um, kind of hard to maneuver around the camera plus it involved quite a bit of st uh, swearing um, to get it in there but anyway I'm just gonna go in a little bit close up here you'll see me with my uh, paintbrush in a minute doing a few touch-ups on this paint um, just sort of blending out the blue it's I put a little bit of white gesso on the wood first just to sort of treat the wood so the paint would go on better and uh, this will take about three or four days to dry. front garden of my house in Kensington and as you can see we've got a close-up there of Woody he's a he, that's his feet just want to show you some of the details of Woody he's a little bit uh, in the preparation stages of getting this board man we've actually put the board behind him it's a nine foot six board that weighs about 150 pound made out of nine foot six no uh, it's a nine foot six board but it has a 60 year old knotty pine actually which I'd actually uh, glued together and planed into a of an old board shape and you'll see as we pan up as he's completed pants 
You'll notice his legs are a little bit dark because I've just stained his legs. I haven't done the upper portion yet. And I'm going to try and pan out a little bit. And here you go. Now what he's... He's quite large. Um, I'll actually have to move back a little bit to fit him in. And... Uh, Actually, there you go, there's his surfboard. Surfboard is 9 foot 6. The design is, uh, I uh, hand painted the design on the top, is actually uh, a scene from my surf, local surf break in Australia called Point Cartwright. And uh, I've got him strapped in there with a come along right now. It's a, uh, just to hold the board steady because there's a little bit of wind around. Anyway, later I'm going to put a couple of lag bolts right through his chest. Um, you can see so his chest there, I'm going to put lag bolts in there. And there's a beautiful grain on this wood, if you notice, it sort of actually swirls right around his chest. And it matches his chest exactly, it splits it right down the middle. And if I had to cut that wood in any other way, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened like that. So, you hear always have these happy mistakes with woodwork. Bit of a close up on Woody's face. Woody's going to get some hair later, and some eyes. So uh, we'll come back a little bit later when we've got the board on him. Alright, here we are back at Woody. I'm going to go cinch these couple of bolts up and his surfboard will be secured to his back. The board weighs about 150 pounds so it was pretty hard getting it up here we had a really struggle to get it into place because I had to line the bolts up through his chest and uh, so now that's the easy part anyway be right back we'll shoot the rest of it when it's all done so there you have it there's Woody I'm gonna give him a set of eyes later I'm gonna paint some eyes on um, but essentially he's pretty well finished. Well there you have it. Woody's got his clear coat. Got his hair back on. And uh, he's ready to hit the waves. So after about a bit over a month of chainsaw, chisel, basically any sort of woodwork tools I could get my hands on, Woody's done. So uh, he can either be a blonde or a grey. I'll give him a, I'll have another shot of him in a minute with his grey wig on. But essentially he's done. So, uh, four or five weeks of pretty hard work. And uh, 3,000 pounds of solid oak has turned into about 600 pounds. And uh, all done. So, there's Woody. And we'll be back in a sec with his other, with his other wig on. Well, here you have Woody. With his other hair on, he's uh, got his grey wig on, a little bit more wild looking, got his clear coat and uh, at least his hair is interchangeable and it can be taken off when it gets wet and rainy out here, so uh, uh, anyway, been a lot of work, four or five weeks, but been a very enjoyable experience and uh, he'll be here for, for years to come. That's the Kensington Woody. He's a bit landlocked. But anyway, got matching shirt and pants. Anyway, here's me signing off. Hope to see you on, see you on Surfline. We're going to be submitting this video to Surfline and also YouTube. So look for Woody in the next couple of weeks. Take care.